Hello, in this video I'll show you how to install and configure Tartarus Core Control plugin, my newest plugin for WordPress. Uh, to install it, click on Plugins, Add New, click on Upload Plugin, choose File, navigate to the plugin where you uh, downloaded it from uh, the market and click Install Now. Uh, the zip file contains all plugin files and will automatically install. Click Activate Plugin to make it active. After that, you can go to Settings panel of the plugin. A menu Entry Tartar Scroll Control just appeared. Here, as you can see, uh, we have the main features of the plugin. Uh, this is the main switch. If you switch it to off, all plugin features will be deactivated. Okay. The first thing first is bot trap feature. This is the main feature of the plugin. This will activate the hidden link that uh, will be uh, invisible to human visitors. Only bots will see it. And bots. Uh, that follow that link will be automatically banned from your site. Note that uh, this plugin also includes, uh, if you check this box, uh, includes in the robots.txt a directive that uh, bots should not follow that link. So only bad bots will be banned because Google and uh, so on bots follow robots takes the directive and also that link is marked as no follow if you check this box uh, it is recommended that you check both these boxes to ensure that only bad bots are caught and banned if you check this then uh, uh, bot trap will be active. Let's see the bot trap in action. If we save the settings and we go to our site, this is my blog. If I view page source, uh, this is the line outputted from my plugin. This is the trap, the bot trap. As you can see, it is no follow, display none, because it's, it, it is hidden from humans, only bots can see it. And it is marked appropriately. Warning, this link is a trap for bad bots. Do not follow this link, or your IP address will be banned from this site. Okay. Uh, we must log out, because only logged out users are banned and now we can click on this as you can see you are not allowed to view this resource if i go back to my main blog page i am also banned there too okay uh, in this case i can log in back to uh, my blog if i type up in the address bar WP admin and I am redirected to the login this uh, will not be banned this page here you ca I can log in also I am banned uh, and I am back to the settings page if, now if I go to the blog bots list this is me this is me because I clicked that link and I am banned from the site. I can delete the entry but let's leave it for now there. Okay. Some other settings for this are be back for this part in a moment. Accepted bot names. You can accept some bot names from uh, banning so these bots will be not banned in any case 
I included it here by default Google, Bing, Alexa, Yandex and Baidu bot. All search engine bots. You can also specify here some IP addresses of the bots that you want to whitelist. Here is a feature that uh, automatically sends mail when a new bot gets banned. Here you can enter your email address. This is a feature that checks if mail sending works. Here you will see a message that mail sending is not working is if your mail is not working okay. Uh, custom your band page text you are not allowed to view this resource here you can customize what uh, bots will what message will be shown to band bots uh, besides the crawlers RP also check its user agent if you check this then not only the IP of the bot will be matched but also its user agent uh, this means that uh, the security is less effective. Uh, if the bot changes its user agent over time, uh, it will not be banned if you check this. Also, if a user gets banned and this option is checked, if that user uh, enters the site with a different browser, with and a different browser means a different user agent it will not be banned so I recommend that you leave this unchecked only in special cases check this allow access for logged in users I recommend that you leave this checked so you cannot lock yourself out allow access to login and admin pages uh, also I recommend that you leave this checked uh, for to have a backdoor if you accidentally click on that link and lock yourself out. So these two recommended to be checked. Okay. Now back to here. Automatically banned bots. Good bot blocker, bad bot blocker. These two are uh, some features that will block automatically the bots that it recognizes. Good bot blocker will ban Google, Baidu, uh, uh, Yahoo and so on bots. The main bots. I do not recommend you to check this because it will affect your CEO value. You can also add names to good bots to ban. And bad bot blocker. This is a nice feature. Here I gathered a list of over 1000 bad bots that crawl aggressively your site. Here uh, are included only non CEO valuable bots that will have no effect on your CEO value. You can check this and your site performance should be increased. Next is the login feature. You can select who to what visits on your site should be logged. All visits bot only, human only disabled. If you leave this on bot only, only bot visits will be logged on your site. Exclude on traffic, do not log your own traffic. Uh, the log feature can be seen page access list here. As you can see here are who accessed my site, two bots and one desktop. You can sort this by user agent, you can sort this by uh, access count or type. Okay let's move on. Next are the other features. Referral spam blocker with this, you can uh, block the main referral spam sources. Uh, this is a main problem for Google Analytics users who will see spikes in their traffic. 
So as I said, these are main uh, problems for Google Analytics users who see spikes in their traffic. These spikes are uh, because of referral spam sources. If you check this, they will be gone. Here you can also add extra referral sources uh, separated by comma. Bot common spam blocker. This feature uh, uses honeypot method that introduces an invisible text field in the comment section in their comment form on your blog. And if bots introduce automatically data in your input fields, they will uh, add data also in that invisible uh, input field. Uh, so, the plugin recognizes that a bot uh, just uh, completed the comment and submitted it. And if that input field is not empty, it will also block that comment. And we'll show this message. If you check this box, the bot will also be banned. So, if you want to just block spam, check this. If you want also to ban the spamming bot, check this also. Okay, the last feature is block known bad bots with htaccess file. If you check this, uh, a section will be added automatically to your htaccess file on your server, which will block known uh, bad bots. Note that a uh, full list of bad bots can be found in plugin documentation for this uh, HTAccess bad bot file and also these two bad blog blocker and good bot blocker features. Okay, let's move on. The next settings page is the blog bots list. Here, as you can see, this is me. If I click more info, more info will be shown ab about me, my user agent, date, reason. Reason will be different for uh, common spam, bad, blog, bad bot, good bot, and so on. Also, I implemented a recaptcha in integration. No, I, this is my secret key. Uh, I also implemented recaptcha integration. Uh, here, as you can see, uh, if you go to this site where you can register with Google for recaptcha, you get a secret key and a, a side key. Introduce the side key and the secret key here, and the recapture feature will be activated. Uh, you can integrate it in the sign up form, in the login form, comment form, or lost password form. For both you can add a uh, incorrect captcha message and a spam message. These messages will be shown to users if incorrect captcha well, was introduced or spam was introduced. Uh, now let's demonstrate this feature for you. Uh, okay, these are two dummy keys. Let's save the settings. Okay, uh, yeah, let's copy the site key and the secret key from Google site. Okay, and now save the settings. Okay. Now let's have a look on our blog. Uh, 
and the command form will have a recapture integrated. Okay. Uh, next thing next. Also, uh, the all forms will have a recapture integrated. The sign up, the login, and the lost password. Okay. You can also change the theme from light to dark and the language of the recapture. Also, you can disable recaptures for logged in users if uh, you know that they are legit page access list here you can list all your access to the page you own this is a analytics feature i also added a robots.txt editor you can edit your robots.txt file uh, documentation on robots.txt features you can be can be found in the plugin documentation Click Submit to save it, or if you uh, uh, made bad changes to your RoboStix, you can hit Reset, and uh, uh, RoboStix will be restored to its original version. Also, uh, htaccess manual editor, here you can add your changes to the htaccess file, also a submit and the reset button and finally a meta tags editor here you can add meta robots tags to post pages category archive search taxonomy not found home tag and media pages just simply check this and if you hit save go to your wordpress site view source and this is the generated meta tag no index no follow no depo no idea this if we leave this only to no index and refresh this no index only okay so the main features of this plugin are this the bot trap this bot trap will uh, ban bad bots if you check these two boxes if you uncheck these two boxes notice that this will trap all bots that are crawling your site uncheck these two only if you know what you are doing okay good bot blocker will ban a list of good bots bad bot blocker will automatically ban a list of bad bo bots that are recognized uh, these will log visits for your site here you can set custom options and other features where you can uh, exclude referral spam exclude comment spam from bots and uh, some more protection from the htaccess file and also the uh, recapture integration so these are the main features of my plugin hope that you enjoyed it have a nice day thank you